I love a huge range of different areas of science from human nutrition through to how you get colours in butterfly wings through uh, the interaction of light with their scales. There's so much wonder in science. But my favourite area to talk about has to be the human brain. Human brains are incredibly complicated and incredibly impressive and yet there's so much that we still don't know about them and that's what I find so interesting. Inside the human brain we've got about 86 billion nerve cells or neurons and while this number itself is impressive what I think is most interesting is how we came to know it. So it's not that easy to count the number of neurons in a brain. You could take really thin slices, and this is a technique that is used. So there's a machine, a little bit like if you've ever seen those ham slicing machines at the deli or the supermarket. You can get a machine like that and slice a brain into really thin slices so that you can see all the details. But still, determining where one cell ends and the next one begins is far from easy. There are stains that can help, so they change the colour of certain proportions of the cells so you can see them more easily. But it's still difficult to know that you've counted every cell but only counted it once. So what some scientists did is they actually broke down the human brain and turned it into a kind of soup. Now it sounds completely disgusting and perhaps a little bit ethically worrying that if you've donated your brain to science and they turn it into soup, does that feel quite fair? But actually, the four men whose brains were counted have moved on our understanding of how many neurons there are in the human brain. We used to think it was around 100 billion. We now know it's closer to 86 billion. Because they turned this brain into soup, they could make sure that they labelled and counted every single neuron in there. Obviously, it varied a bit from person to person. Um, we only had four people who were tested. They were all men. Whether that makes any difference, we don't yet know. But it's a better estimate than we had before for the number of neurons in the brain. But that's far from the number of cells in the brain. Because neurons aren't the only cell that makes up our brain matter. There are loads of others, particularly glial cells, which come in a variety of types and provide support for the neuron. And the brain just wouldn't be able to function without these other types of cell. And I think they sometimes get overlooked. So in my next few videos, I'm gonna be looking at the different types of cell in the brain and what's important about them.